This is Chad Wood, director of bands at Staley Middle School in Frisco, Texas, with a presentation on quarter notes and rests, or one-beat rhythms. You can download this page and more theory worksheets at staleyband.org theory. As always, the first thing we'll do is put our name at the top, and this page is all about quarter notes and rests. A quarter note should be played for one beat. A quarter note has a stem and a filled in note head. In most music, four quarter notes fit in a measure. For this note, a whole note is divided into quarters. That's where it gets its name. Go ahead and draw this at the top. You can put it pretty small but we're going to begin with a whole note. We call this a note tree. Remember that a whole note equals four. If we divide that in half, we get half notes. So that's how we name half notes. A whole note is divided in half. If we split two half notes, we end up with four quarter notes, or as you can see, four notes fit into one whole note or quarters of a whole note. So that's our note tree with whole, half, and quarter notes. Continuing on, it asks us to draw four quarter notes in each measure. We're going to draw the first eight stem up, then we'll draw the next eight stem down. On our rhythm line, you'll notice that we put the first four with the stem on the right side going up then draw four more. Then as you draw the stems down, you switch to the left side. Remember, up looks like a D, down looks like a P, like Dr. Pepper. Be sure to fill in every note head. For rests, a quarter rest tells us to be silent for one beat. A quarter rest looks like a sideways M with a loop at the end. A quarter can replace one beat of sound with one beat of silence. Now we're going to draw two measures of quarter rests. There should be eight total rests. These are a little bit trickier to draw. If you were to draw a sideways M with a little swoosh at the end, it looks kind of like that. Some people say it looks kind of like a three. If you were to put a squiggle, Usually we can tell what you're talking about because a quarter rest is one of the trickier things to draw. So when you finish, again, there should be a total of eight quarter rests. Now, when it comes to writing and counting quarter notes, this is one of the easiest rhythms and rests to write in all of music. So remember, you have to show every major beat in every measure. And for this exercise, we'll still be showing one, two, three, and four. If we hear it, we'll write it big. The following beats are small, but we don't have to worry about that on quarter notes because every note is a beat. Rest will always start with an R and we put the number inside the R. And then when you're tapping, clapping, and counting, make sure you're doing it confidently and make sure you're staying right with the metronome. So first, go and draw eight quarter notes. After that, draw eight quarter rests. As I said before, this is one of the easiest ones to write because you're first going to begin with just the numbers one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For our rests, you do the exact same thing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but you put those inside the R. And remember, you can always put the one, two, three, four small and draw the R around it if you aren't sure about drawing your big R first. That's quarter notes and quarter rests. Hopefully you guys caught it all. If you needed to pause and rewind it to hear the information again, feel free. Thank you for watching and happy practicing.